Welcome back to Good Morning Indiana. It is 614 and March is Women's History Month. And so Megan, this morning we're highlighting the Wheeler Mission Center for Women and Children right here in Indianapolis. That's right, the transitional facility. It's meant to help women and children experiencing homelessness is under construction. This morning I'm introducing you to the women lighting up the building before anyone steps inside. Off Michigan and LaSalle streets, you'll see construction work on the Wheeler Mission Center for Women and Children. It's going to be really great for people and families that need that. And if you talk to the people on the property, you'll meet three women behind all of the electrical work, including Leslie Hawk. Right now, I do anything that Alexis and uh, Lori tells me to do. She's the apprentice in the group of ladies, including Alexis Mitchell and Lori Griffith. They basically are trailblazers, and I feel lucky to be around them and learn from them. Even though she's new, she's learning quickly. Manual dexterity, and then you use your mind a lot. Of course, there is some, some labor to it. Watching these people, I will never complain because they never do, and they just get it done. Nearly one year into this $19 million project, They've wired most of the 164 new permanent bedrooms here. It's like doing a connect four or something. Alexis Mitchell's the journeyman electrician. Yes. She brings eight years of electrical experience at construction sites. We're used to just working with a lot of men. Mitchell says even though fewer women work in construction, she's found it sparks her passion after a few years in college. I went for engineering, but I didn't want to do the designing. I wanted to work with my hands. It's just the right outlet for her and an example of women making science and technology, engineering and mathematics knowledge literally light up a room. We're all the same and we're capable of doing the work. It's not as hard as people think it is. We can do it. They do some work you see like wiring card readers for doors or smoke detectors on the ceiling. Our Lighting the way for the team is Lori Griffith. There. Me in my younger years, uh, I hardly ever saw another woman. She says women have come a long way in the construction industry. Women can do construction, you know. Uh, sometimes it's nasty and dirty, but uh, if you have a mindset, uh, there's nothing stopping you. I mean, you can... You can become the boss if you want. And she is a boss. She leads all of the electrical work. Sometimes it's kind of hard for women. <sighs> you can't be dainty. <laughs> Griffiths put more than 25 years into building respect with construction men. It's kind of like brother and sister now, you know. They joke around, uh, but they, they go out of your way to help you. We'll go out of our way to help them. As part of the IBEW 481 Union 2, these ladies say they're getting equal pay. Uh, we make what the guys make. There might be one difference between the women and men. We have a women's portal at, so, <laughs> with a lock on it, so we don't have to worry about that. Potty humor aside, all of the women have dug up disparities. So there's three of us here, and you know what? They pull their weight. And thrown them aside when it comes to electrical construction. This job was meant for me. I mean, being a, an electrician. These female electricians are amplifying the message that women can work along the same frequency as men in the construction world. It was great meeting all three women and to become an electrical construction worker, it takes five years of schooling at least. But these women tell me it's a stable job that's looking for more women and continued even during the pandemic, Lauren.